what's up YouTube welcome back to the channel my original intro got a little messed up so I had to reshoot this so anyway guys we are headed over to my dad's house he just got full force diesel 180 stock nozzle injectors put in his 7.3 power stroke turbo diesel very exciting he has owned this truck since brand new he's had it 18 years and this is probably his first big modification you know he has the intake exhaust but this is his first true uh power mod that he's doing to his truck plus obviously you have to tune it we'll get more into that a little later down the road especially you guys seem to enjoy the 7.3 content it is a nice mix up for you guys however I can't tell you guys what's in this box yet, but you guys are going to really like this. Let's get some guesses down here. There's the next performance mod for the truck in that box. Let's see those comments down below. What do you guys think it is? And as always, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and those comments down below what you think that is in that box over there. And let's see some more comments on what you think of my dad's truck. Again, sorry about the lighting in this video. It got a little darker than I anticipated, but we will do more videos and I'll do a more thorough review of my dad's truck and his current build level. So anyway, guys, without me talking anymore, let's get over to his house. All right, guys, welcome back. So here we are, we're over at my dad's house now. Got the 7.3 here plugged in. He's still having some cold start issues. So I did bring one of my uh, apps to try to monitor his truck see if we can't find out what's going on whether it's dead batteries or something like that it runs fine when it's warmer out uh, I don't believe the 7.3s are very prone to leaking so I'm thinking this is and he does have new glow plugs in from last year motorcraft glow plugs diesel uh, Greg over at diesel and automotive uh, put them in so I know that's done right the only thing I can think is maybe his the module might be bad or his batteries are on the way out so we're gonna hop in here try to find out what's going on and maybe you'll guys get a cold start here of the old 7.3 Right, guys hopefully I'm coming up it's we're losing sunlight fast here but uh we're gonna take my dad's truck on a little spin here got a hundred horsepower performance tune from DP tuner in it and uh, 180 cc injectors with stock nozzles and from what my dad says it put a pretty good smile on his face while uh, he drove it home the first time so It's much more responsive. So dad, how happy are you with the uh, new performance of the truck? You enjoying it? I like it a lot. Jared, uh, I think it did a good job. Uh, let's stay on it now. It does shift a little hard. I don't know if I like that. Keep going straight. Going around the block. When it shifts from the 20 to 35, it's really hard. It shifts real hard. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of miles on it, so we'll see how it uh, does in another week of driving. Like when I switch my tunes to like my race tunes they shift pretty hard take a right at the light but no I really like it seems like it got it's very touchy it reacts fast oh yeah it's uh it reacts fast guys for, I haven't driven, this is my first tuned 7.3 I've ever driven, and uh, th this is middle of the road for performance. They have tunes that make more for this setup, but this is not the highest they make. 
and uh, it's it's pretty impressive. It pulls it pulls great. Like this is a fun daily driving daily driver. Doesn't roll too much coal. Now I want to stress the importance of the speed limit guys. It may seem like we're going a little quick, only going the speed limit. And notice safety first, we have the seatbelt on. I always get a few questions when I'm driving a tune truck, uh, how fast I get up and we're abiding by all the laws of the road. But definitely a very fun, responsive truck plenty of power throughout the whole RPM band. Very touchy from a go. From a dead stop, this is, it's a very touchy. Dad, you hoping for some snow to go do some donuts in your new tune truck? Yes, I want to go out and play. <laughs> now, Dad, just be careful. You got, you got some power under the hood now. I'm probably not used to all this. So, guys, as far as driving characteristics it does shift a little firm for a daily now he might only have you know 50 miles on this since getting tuned so it can take some time to uh 16 okay so 16 miles so uh very few miles and a lot of times it'll smooth out as time goes on so we're gonna recheck and see if it kind of gets better in a week or so you don't want to beat on them too hard when you first get them tuned because you just want to give the transmission time to go through everything but so far drives great next to no smoke output you know it's just like driving a tuned six liter in the sense of if you want it to roll coal you can um, if you want to drive like a normal person and not waste a bunch of fuel essentially you can drive it normally so I really like that but at the same time you want to put on a little show you can if you really want to if you're at an event or something like that 35, if I step on, step on, 35, it, it used, no, it used to shift hard, real hard. That was probably about half throttle. I mean, that got in it pretty good. That shifted better, maybe you're right, maybe it just takes some time. I'm going to say about 100 miles or so to, to kind of smooth everything out. I mean, I, I gotta tell you, I'm I'm thrilled with it for a mi relatively mild tune. Uh, it drives great. There's not a ton of you know. It's not like you're blowing a bunch of black smoke or anything. The turbo spools up really fast. See there. Yeah. I don't. turbo like I said this is in the scheme of what you can get like they have a tune rated for about another 40 horsepower with these injectors you'd probably be looking at like 50 55 extra horsepower for that tune but I like it like it's just a fun like it's not over the top it's just a fun daily daily truck you know mm -hmm. I know you were worried about blowing a bunch of smoke. Have you, I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, no, no, it's, it doesn't do that. Oh, there, it left See? a good one. Yeah, I think. Right here, right here. Oh, shoot. Brakes work very well. Brakes working good. Check. <laughs> All right, he makes me get out of my truck to take a walk. To watch him drive by. Yeah, so sit back up for me, Sonny. I see the smile. You love it. <laughs> Drives good, though. I'm. 
I like it, it's fun. If I had a 7.3, this would this would probably be uh, be one of my favorite setups. I'd probably still do a turbo down the road when this one goes, but other than that, this would this would be what I'd rock. There you guys have it. That was, uh, hopefully this came up for you guys a little bit. I do apologize for the lighting. Uh, I meant to come over a little earlier, but uh, I'm still kind of in summer mode, even though we're well into winter here and I uh, can't seem to get my time schedule straight. Anyway though, the truck drives amazing. Um, shifts a little firm for a daily driver. I mean, I would like that kind of shifting at the track where I want it to be fast right to the next gear. But uh, other than that, it drives well. Now there's not a lot of miles on it. Uh, he doesn't drive far to work. And also on top of it, he only has like 20 miles on it now and four of those I just put on. So. We're gonna double check, we'll check back and see how it does. You guys responded really well to the 7.3 content. A lot of you guys said finally, asking for this to come on the channel more often. So we will do other videos and uh, down the road, maybe I'll do a tune review on the DP tuner. I gotta say, great service from DP tuner. Very, very fast, um, great instructions, response times again, just out of this world, even the emails with stuff. So. Again, can't thank them enough. Check them out. Jody does a great job. You know, this is a 100 horsepower tune, so the truck should be putting down about 320, 330, somewhere in there. Um, the 7.3's made about 50 horsepower less, so. Now, maybe it's a little more with the, excuse me, the 7.3's made about 50 horsepower less than the 6 liter did from factory. So with bigger injectors and 100 horsepower tunies, probably somewhere in the 330 range for horsepower. Um, everything else seemed to be good on the truck. I expect to see this truck make a few more appearances on the channel. And uh, as long as you guys keep requesting it, I will keep doing that. Uh, injectors from Full Force Diesel, shout out to them, great product. And uh, also to Greg over at Diesel and Automotive, hooking us up, great install, fast, and uh, just great customer service from them can't say enough good things about all of these companies anyway guys thank you let's see those guesses down below in the comment section about what you think that box at my house was and i'll see you in the next upload guys thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this upload something a little bit different than our normal six liter content don't worry six liter content is not going anywhere but i do hope you guys really enjoyed this something different to the channel if you guys do enjoy it i will continue to bring it on the channel so far it seems like you guys do like the little mix up with some 7.3 action in there so we will do this again anyway guys if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy our content and drop those comments down below what do you think of my dad's 7.3 power stroke diesel and also what do you think's in the mystery box over here for the next performance mod for the 6.0 power stroke